All right, legends, welcome back. So in the last video, we talked about keyframing audio effects. Now, I think it's only fair that we create a video on keyframing video effects. Now, in the next video, I wanna talk about copying and pasting video and audio effects to save a lot of time. Uh, so I like that we're messing around with keyframes. It's really the cornerstone to Final Cut Pro 10. So let's get into it. So I've got the same clip we have in the last video. It's just me in my living room talking to myself. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to video and effects, just right here. And I'm already on color, so let's go ahead and just grab any which one. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and grab black and white. I'm gonna drop it right here. Now this whole clip should be black and white, but we're using keyframes, which means, well, it can mean a number of different things, but for the sake of the tutorial, which means we wanna gradually transition into the black and white and then gradually transition out so it's back to normal. So right now it's just black and white, just like that. Weapon. The whole way through, how long is this clip? It's about eight and 20 seconds, about 20 seconds, 19 seconds long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the beginning of the clip and you always know it's the beginning of the clip when you see, I'm just gonna use the arrow pad on my keyboard. Uh, I've got audio skimming on. There, right there. You see that little L right there? That means it's the first frame of this clip. So what I'm gonna do is make sure you're on video up here and I'm gonna drag the black and white attribute all the way down to zero and I'm gonna add a keyframe. Click there, just like that. Now, let's drag it, I don't know, maybe five seconds to about here. There's no right or wrong maybe about here, and we'll drag it all the way back up, and we'll add, well, another keyframe gets added automatically, and then let's go ahead and, I wanna maintain it to about here. Let's go ahead and add another keyframe. This time, since it's at the same 100%, we actually have to add it, but anytime we change it, it's gonna automatically add it for us. And then let's go to one of the last couple frames, just like that. Where is it? So it's two, z two, seven, four, seven, two, seven, four, seven. Let's go up here. And since we're changing it from a hundred to anything different, it's going to add a keyframe for us just like that. Let's check it out. Weapons. Weapon. No, 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 no weapons. Smooth no transition. Weapons. No making fun of me for only using cloud. Drink that beer. No weapons, no items, no time, two stock. So that's it. We successfully created an effect using keyframes in Final Cut Pro 10. And uh, I guess the 10 second elevator speech would be the further the keyframes are away, the slower the transition and the faster and the closer they are together, the faster the transition. Let me say that back again. The further the keyframes are away, it's gonna be a slower transition. The closer they're together will be a faster transition. Good luck with this, play around with it. In the next video, we're gonna talk about copying and pasting our both audio and video effects in Final Cut Pro 10. I love you guys.